And so ordinal categorical data, I mentioned if you had categories such which were in an order such as mild, moderate, severe symptoms, they would be defined as ordinal. There's more to think about how you would analyse them. And there's choices as to how you would present the data. Of course, you could just give a number of um, observations in each proportion. So we've got here a score from 1 to 6, and we've got the number of observations for each score and we could give a proportion to those but it's quite hard to kind of look at that if you've got different groups and you were just given the proportion that had each score it would be quite hard to, to look at it and understand wh which group how the groups differed but an overall alternative if you've got say I think more than about five ordered categories it might be to just take the mean of the, the scores and um, summarize it that way probably just give the standard error so you get a feel for what the overall mean of these scores is. And of course your um, categories are actually going to be descriptions, something like mild, moderate or severe, so you would have to give a sort of one, two, three for the ordering of the data. It's worth bearing in mind that this isn't the only way of summarising ordinal categorical data. Um, you could take the option of averaging it as well.